finally all unpacked and now it is currently 4.07 and I think I'm just waiting around for Beatrice to, I don't really know what we're gonna do. Maybe show me how to do things, I don't know. But the property is beautiful, the lake, oh my goodness, like I cannot even, it's just so clean and nice here. Sorry, there's something that I heard behind me and it kind of freaked me out. Beatrice, what are we doing? I'm sewing the tin. But it's full of blood. Can you see? Sad. <laughs> right. We'll try to mend it. <laughs>
this is Beatrice. Um, she's on staff here in Mangochi. <laughs> okay. Um, I've asked her to share like uh, something that God put on her heart, her testimony, anything. As she has already said that I'm Beatrice I'm Tiagula, one of the team mission staff I'm teaching here at Mangochi Base. I just want to share with you my salvation testimony and some of the things that the missions has helped me in my life. At first, I was not knowing who Christ is. I was born in a Christian family, but not the real born again. So it was hard for me to know who Christ is and to walk in the ways Jesus Christ wants us to be. So I was doing things which were looking good to me and my family. But in true, in true sense, I was not in the right relationship with the Lord. I was drinking, I was even using some drugs, as well as living with many guys. But I was thinking that in, in so doing, I'm enjoying life. And on, on that time, I was really enjoying life, but in, in not the goodly way. So, after being facing with some several challenges according to the behavior or the lifestyle I was living in, then I had somebody from the dream was asking me, where do you think you are going to end with the life which I are reading? And then I was just thinking that it was just a dream. I faced such kind of things for several nights and then I, I went to a certain pastor in order to ask him what are these things talking about. And then the pastor helped me on how I can be a Christian. After that is when I started living in the Christian way, in the life which Christ wants me to live like. So the time I started logging with Jesus Christ, my, all my friends ran away from me. They were thinking that I've started living in a stupid life, which is not good to which which is not really good to how people live in this world. So it was hard for me. I was alone, but I, I was believing that Christ was in my heart. So after five years, is when five years after five years receiving Jesus Christ, is when I know that there's ten missions in it. Salima. Then I decided to go and start PMW. At first, it was hard for me to do the program of PMW, mainly because of um, we were involving much in the Christian things, which was like hard to me. I was not used to that. So when I was still at the BMW, it's when my relationship with the Christ was so getting closer. I, I spent all my two years in Chiboga studying the Word of God. And then in 2015, it's when I came here at Mangoshi Base to start my internship. I started with taking care of the kitchen for the whole year 2015. And then in 2016 is when the office asked me to start to help in teaching. As I'm talking now, I'm the teacher at BMW and I'm enjoying teaching the people or the men and the women of God on how they can teach the people who doesn't know Christ. And I hope the Lord is doing great things in my life. And many people are being revived through the way in which Christ is putting me. And I think many of them will have very small things according to the Lord and according on how the Lord is using me. So that's how I received Jesus Christ. And I, I'm thanking a lot of the people who always support us and also the people, mainly the Mr. Bob Brand. He had the good idea of establishing this ministry. He is helping many, many lives. Without the missions, I, I don't think I would realize who Christ is. And now I'm the changed person. Even my friends are, even my friends have changed through looking on the full start now I've started bearing. And I'm a happy person now. <laughs> That's good. Is <laughs> that a question? <laughs> What's been one of your favorite things about Mangochi? Okay. The most thing which I like is to go out and preach the gospel to the Muslims. We are living in the place where there's harsh Muslims. But I'm very happy just because Christ is is guiding us on how we can reach them with the gospel. And many many Muslims now know who Christ is. At the first it was it was very hard. They were thinking that maybe we are here to snatch something from them, or we are like the enemies, but now they know the truth. We are in the good relationship with the Christ, with the Muslims, I mean. That's why I always enjoy the ministry here at Mongoosh.
What's been one of the hardest things that you've faced while being like a believer? Being uh, the challenge which I always face as a believer is that um, it's like when I was in the dark yesterday, in the dark, I had a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. We are thinking that we're enjoying life together. together. But once I did get my life to Jesus Christ, they all went away from me. And they were also mocking me that uh, I'm doing things which are not uh, which are not going to produce some good things in my life. May, mainly in terms of money. But I don't care about cash. What I care most is the hidden treasure which in, is in heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was there any certain like scripture that um, you've really clung close to that has like really spoken to you like within your relationship with Jesus? Okay. I like Psalms 22 verse 6. I like that verse so much. It helps me a lot when I'm, I'm preaching with people with the gospel. Yeah, I like that verse. And also book of um, James, which or oh, which talks about the time and how we can use our time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it helps me to speak things which can glorify the name of the Lord. Because with the time, it's when somebody can realize that we are we are the real Christians. Because my speeches should be different with the people who doesn't know Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I like that chapter so much from the book of James. It helps me to control my, my time all the time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, so since coming to Mangochi, Beatrice, she came to Chipoka and escorted me from Chipoka to Mangochi because Mr. Frey doesn't want me traveling by myself. <laughs> and you could have lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have gotten lost because I literally have no idea where I'm going. So. Yeah, instead of coming here, I would have gone to Mozambique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scary. Um, but yeah, Beatrice has been such a blessing. We've gotten pretty close since I've been here, and she's an encouragement to me. Um, we've had some good laughs together, and I'm blessed by her. And I'm sending my best wishes to her and Austina. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's get, my prayer. <laughs> when they get married in September 9th, so be praying. Um, yeah, they're gonna have double O, double O children. Oh, not double, double, single, single. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's great. And yeah, I'm already excited for my next time coming out to Mangochi because this has been amazing. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Me too. I'm glad to have you here. I'll miss you. Yes, yeah, I'll enjoy your time. Same. Keep on praying for me and for the ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Thank you. <Yeshua. laughs> cool. Woo! Yeah.